Hi guys, it's Scott from Radio Shop. What we're going to do today is take you through how to activate and deactivate a Kenwood license key for your software. So what you normally do is you'll purchase your software, you'll install the software, and there's two parts to a Kenwood software. There's the actual programming software, which will open up, and then there's actually the license management client, which activates the software. So what you want to do is you want to open up your license management client. So on your computer, you would go to My Programs, Kenwood, and then go right to the bottom, you'll see License Management Client. It would open up like this. What we want to do then is look at the Help and go to About, and we want to check the version. So in January 19th, 2024, the release version 2. If you're using the old version 1.3, you will not be able to connect to the server. You will not be able to activate your license key, which you've been issued. So that's important to note. What we'll do is we'll have a link on the website. So if you want the latest software or the license management client software, you can download it. So the first thing you want to do is you'll get sent a key from us, which is a activation product key. What we normally do is tell, advise you to drop it onto the desktop like, like I have done here. And all you're going to do is open up the client software, which we've done. We're going to drop it in. And it'll highlight the key you've dropped in. Now, the good thing with Kenwood software is you can activate it and deactivate it. So whether you only want one license between a, a couple of engineers or whether you, you use multiple computers and you need to move between them, you can use the same license key. It's just important that you deactivate it first, otherwise it won't allow you to do it. So what we've done is we've dragged and dropped it in. It's highlighted the top one because that's the key we've dropped in. What you'll see is it'll say quantity one slash one. That basically means it hasn't been activated yet. So we simply turn around and select the key we want, which is that one. And we turn around and go to the, the software authentication at the top right hand corner. What I'll do is it'll then turn around and confirm that it's been activated. Now what will happen is you can either hit refresh, but because it's already shown it, you're good to go. So what I would do now is open up your Kenwood software. Your Kenwood software will work and there'll be no problems whatsoever. Now you've decided further down the line you want to move this between computers. So all you now do is you go up to the cancellation tab at the top. Select software. What you do now is select the one that you want to deactivate. And you go to software cancellation. What it's basically doing now is going to the server deactivating that license key. You can now move that license key between different computers and then activate it. Any questions or dramas, please get in touch. We're always here to help. Thank you very much for your time.